Hey guys, welcome to part number two of the Pinball and Top Dollar IGTS Plus restoration. Uh, so we're going to do a couple things here. Oh, right off the bat, um, thanks to Gambling the Globe. Uh, thanks, buddy. I appreciate the uh, recommendation. I did order a lockpick set uh, for these barrel locks, and uh, I'll give that a shot. It won't be here till Wednesday, but I'll give it a shot, see if I can get it open. Uh, it looked pretty straightforward, honestly. I mean, I've done some light lock picking before but just on normal locks and nothing with security bits or anything like that so we'll see how it goes because uh, i'm very eager to get inside of this thing i can't really do much of anything without it so uh so we'll wait on that uh besides i've got other parts coming in so i'm gonna have to wait so let's focus on the pinball today um what i'm gonna do today is open it up see if i can get the bill validator to work and also check the uh, mpu board and see if there's any corrosion or anything that we're gonna to have to deal with there, uh, as well as check out the hopper and see what needs to be cleaned, and uh, maybe take the top glass off, depends on if I have enough time here. Uh, so I'm just gonna set this tripod aside here, and if I need to zoom in or anything, I'll, I'll lift it up and I'll show you guys what's going on. So first thing to do, I'm gonna power off the machine and pull out the MPU board. And uh, let's take a look at that and see, see if we have, and, uh, Here's my uh, docs in here, my supervisor. This thing is always a pain in the ass to get out. Corners. Actually, let me turn the uh, flash on because that will be good. Of course, I can't do it because I'm on an iPhone and I have to stop it. Piece of garbage. Uh, when I had my Android phone, I could just turn the flash on without having to stop it. God knows why it is that way with Apple. It is. Yeah, one of those. Okay. So this is just the tray. Uh, here's the speaker wire here. Um, that's safe to unplug if you need to, but we're not going to detail. I just put it over there. I'll pull the hopper out. We'll look at that in a little bit. MPU board is back here. So, just gonna lift up, pull it out, and let's hope we don't have a big surprise here. Please, please, please be clean. Ooh. It does look very clean. Uh, good. I see no corrosion. Um, the biggest spot that would be a problem is this battery and I don't see any signs of corrosion. So that, that looks good actually. Okay, that's a relief. Um, let me focus this thing. God, iPhones do a terrible job with video, don't they? Maybe it's just me. <laughs> um, boy, everything looks good here. I don't think we're gonna have to deal with anything. Um, Later on, we'll be doing some clearing, uh, so I'll need to remove this chip uh, to do some clearing because I have a new chip coming um, that gives me a few more options for setting hopper payouts and jackpot settings and things like that where this one doesn't. All right, so uh, board looks good. Um, while we're in here, let's look at the reels. Um, no fading, which typically you don't see fading on S pluses because there's no backlighting. Uh, on the S2000s, you get you get some really faded reels because the lights are shining behind them and if nobody's playing them for a long time like the reels get stuck like that and they stay on for weeks at a time it just completely washes them out i don't, I don't know why they designed them that way but um so the s plus reels you never really have to worry about that oh i have my other workout crew coming this is abby she's 18 years old all right back to the good stuff okay um let me go ahead and put the board back in because that looks fine i don't think we're gonna have to deal with anything there so let me, and next time i will know to put the flash on before i start filming so let's get this back in here make sure you don't get any of the wires crimped lift them up out of the way you probably only see in my shoulder right now. I apologize. Okay. And set it and push it in. Okay. 
first stamp. All right, that's good. Okay, so that's in there. Uh, let's take a look at the hopper since I have that out right now. Um, yeah, this thing, I can see why this thing is jamming. Um, there's too much space in between here, so I think we're going to have to tighten it. Um, it's really hard to see. The way, the way the hopper works, by the way, is that, of course, the coins go in here, and then there's this little wheel that turns, um, and the coins kind of line up, and they just kind of turn, turn inside of the wheel. And then, probably making you guys dizzy, I apologize. And then they basically come spitting out here and into the tray. So if it gets gunked up or there's too much space uh, in between the bucket and the wheel, then the coins get lodged and you have to basically kind of just shake it to get it loose or yeah, put the finger in like this. And boy, you can see why casinos didn't like this stuff. <laughs> it's a lot of work. Um, so I, I haven't decided if I'm gonna just take it apart and screw it back in or if I should get a new blade and a blade is the circular thing I was telling you about. They're really cheap. I, you know, might as well just replace it because it's probably the original one. Um, but it doesn't look as bad as I thought it might be, so I think we're okay. So let me go ahead and put this back in. Uh, random flip flop. Okay, so put this back in. And there's just little uh, grooves down at the bottom here. And it just pushes, just pushes back like that. There's basically a little connector in the back, so there's no wires or anything that you have to deal with. Uh, okay, bill validator. I do not know why this is not uh, working. It should be fine. I'm just looking at the uh, connector looks okay the receiving connector looks okay maybe it just needs to be reseated sometimes that is enough let me pull the whole thing out This is where the bill comes through and deposits into the box. Uh, that looks fine too. Uh, it actually looks like it's in really good shape. So hopefully I just needed to reseat it and it will work. Um, otherwise we'll have to just start replacing individual parts until one works. Okay, so let me get uh, the bottom plate back on. My supervisor over here has said it's good to go. Let me get these quarters out of the way. Okay. Make sure the speaker wire is still connected. This is what I was telling you about. It's just a little Molex connector. So it just has to be plugged in, otherwise you get no sound. Well, it's one of the reasons you won't get any sound, right? Let's see. is good to go uh, let's see uh, this is what I was telling you about uh, somebody gave me some extra bulbs they were just sticking in here uh, which is awesome uh, and even has the part number on it so I'll be able, able to easily find more so I'll probably order a bunch more more than I need because uh, you know who knows when those things will stop showing up so okay let's uh, power it on see if the bill validator is working, test some coin out and see if the coin out is more reliable now or if it's getting worse. Uh, let's go for that. And yes, I'm saying a uh, lot. I realize that. Watching my video the other day. Okay, so let's uh, try to stick a dollar in here. Oh, it's taking it, that's good. That's good, that's good, that's good. All right, and they gave the credits. Awesome, awesome news. Um, 
so probably just needed to be reseated. Uh, reasons for that, obviously during transport, it could have gotten dislodged. Uh, even just a little bit could be enough for one of those pins to lose connection, so that seemed to fix it. That is awesome. Let me try another one just to be sure. You okay with this one? You want me to put that one in? Okay. Okay, well, that looks good. Make sure the coins are, coins are still working. That was working before. ever wondered how it knows it's called a coin comparator and you basically put the coin that you wanted to compare it to inside of here try to focus so if you put a nickel in there it'll look for a nickel a dime etc a token you can put a token in there um, the only thing is that the hoppers are a little different they're based on size usually so you know that can't be too different but that's how that works so if you're if you're always putting coins in and they're always being rejected, check to see if this the coin that it's comparing to is still in there. Because if it's not, it doesn't know what to compare it to. Okay. Let's try some coin out. Um, oh, I disabled the cash out button. <laughs> Sorry. I just gotta go in here and put it back in. The other guy who owned this put a big wooden block over it. I just remove it from its housing. So I'll stick that back in. Okay. Hopefully you saw that. I can't see what you see. I will get better at it, I'm sure. Actually, this is coming along really fast on this one. I, I know that the top dollar is going to be more work, trust me. But this one is pretty much in good shape. Um, I just need to replace the bulbs up there and clean it up a little bit. And I think this will be ready to go. I, I have not decided if I'm going to keep this one or not, to be honest. I like top dollar way more than I like pinball. Although I do like both. But... Uh, you know, this, it's, it's going to be a tough call. And <laughs> it just depends on if I get bored of it or not. Otherwise, uh, that's, that's it for this video. I'll, uh, see what we're going to do on the next one. I, I was actually thinking I was going to have to do more, <laughs> but it turns out I'm not going to need to. So, uh, we'll just, uh, cut it off here and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned.